You lay this out in, in the annual report, but a lot of investors are told, retail investors are told, that they should have a certain percent of their portfolio in bonds. Maybe they're told 60-40, maybe they're told 70-30 stocks to bonds. That, that's something that you should do, and that's the safe way yeah. of doing it. What are well, they missing? Some people should not own stocks at all because they just get too upset with price fluctuations. If you're going to do dumb things because your stock, a stock goes down, you shouldn't own a stock at all. <laughs> no, I mean, what, what are dumb things? Selling a stock? Yeah, selling down? a stock because it goes down. I mean, if, if, if you know, if, if, if you buy your house at twenty thousand dollars and somebody comes along the next day and says, "I'll pay you fifteen, you don't sell it because the quote's fifteen. <laughs> you look at the house or whatever it may be. It, 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 but some people are not actually emotionally or psychologically fit to own stocks, but I think there are more of them would be if you get educated on what you're really buying, which is part of a business. And the longer you hold stocks, the less risky they become, whereas the longer the maturity of a bond, the more risky it becomes.